Hello, good evening. Hi, people. Are you there? So good evening for the ones who are just getting connected and for the ones who are already there. I guess some of you are on way on your way home or I don't know if you are at home already, but that's good. That is good. So how are you guys? How's everything? ¿Qué tal cómo estuvo su día? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cristina. Gracias a Dios, bien. ¿Y el suyo? Ah, pues, un poco pesado nada más. As yeah. always, you know. Yes. It's Monday, you know. And basically, we got to do a lot of things just today. Now, the good thing is that, yeah, I mean, we are starting a week. All right. Uh, basically, we're going to finish uh, this module next week specifically on um, Wednesday if everything is okay so I think we are not going to have that much problem All right. le gusta andar en bicicleta fíjense que para ser honestos desde 2017 no anda en bicicleta ah pero si le pero si puede manejar bicicleta Yes, yes. Ah, que sí, porque y y porque dicen que cuando una persona este puede usar bicicleta, le uh -huh. es fácil manejar una moto. ¿verdad? Ah, sí, de cierto modo, that's true. Pero no le recomiendo que ande en moto porque es muy peligroso. Yeah, eh, I mean it's dangerous. Yo fui enemiga de que mis hijos anduvieran en moto. Mi esposo quería que sí anduvieran en moto. Really? Sí, pero tuvimos una moto, pero mejor la vendimos, porque yo, yo, yo soy enemiga, porque muchos accidentes los avientan por allá. Ya, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of accidents. Todos Eso los es días hay muertos, sí. Así que mejor. Sí, sí. Eso mejor es cierto. Mejor evitar aunque... que lamentar, sí. Bueno, sí, en parte sí. Y, y sí, o sea, andar en moto, pues, trae sus ventajas y también sus desventajas. Sí. O sea, siempre hay pros y contras. Mi Tengo caso, mi hermano right. que es este prevendedor de la, de la pizza. O sea, oye, de la pizza estuvo en la cascada. Pero ese niño, gracias a Dios, mire, nunca ha tenido un accidente. Mm. Ajá, sí, que a veces es la forma. Ahí right? también, sí. pues, en que, en, la, en que uno ande. Porque en mi caso, sí. desde 2019 tengo moto. Ah, y, tengo, y tengo el auto también, sí. right? Both. Sí. Entonces... Uh, digamos que en la moto en la moto sí a pesar de que no anda más expuesto en everything pero eh, digamos que eh, en comparación al carro el moto es menos el gasto de gas es sí. mucho más rápida y menos el coste de gasolina pero como sí. se dice uno anda expuesto bastante pues digamos que los carros a veces no suelen respetar los conductores sí. no suelen respetar y pues Ajá. simplemente sobrepasan viendo que no va de frente Ay, no, yo los respeto a los motociclistas. Yo, de aparte, yo los respeto cuando ando así manejando, porque eh, pienso que puede ser un mi hijo, mi hermano, entonces yo digo, ¿no? Exacto. Sí, es, es, es de tener mucho cuidado, sí. Yes, yes. Yeah, we got Pero to que... be very careful. Sí. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I mean, more people are getting connected. Uh, people, y como modo de, you know, like reminding antes de comenzar la clase, todavía hay ciertos estudiantes que me deben algunas tareas. Y para algunas tareas me refiero todavía a tareas de antes de, fa de, de, de la clase 10. 
Eh, así que, please, les, eh, les suplico, por favor, tratar de hacerlas lo más pronto posible. Eh, inclusive también hay muchos que me deben el, el examen en midterm. All right, so, so try to, please try to, um, to do it, all right? Recuerden que es, es una nota bastante importante y hay algunos de ustedes que todavía no lo han, no lo han hecho. Ok, entonces espero a la mayor brevedad el poder, el poder, el que puedan solventar esa situación. Ok. Please, that, that's just a reminder, ok. Just, just for you to, to, to take it into account. All right, so let's start with what we are going to be doing tonight. All right, but before that, I'm gonna start with the attendance list. Uh, Gabriel Esaú, uh, he says that he's on the way home. Um, Guadalupe Noemi. I thought she was there. Me pareció ver la visto. All right, so she's not there. It is Cecilia. Okay, Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. No, okay, good. Uh, Jose Moises. No. Okay, no. Judith Maribel. Hmm. Ah, Judith en la procesión, la verdad. <laughs> Okay, let's see Carla Ivania. Okay, Carla, todavía va de camino. Carla Lorena. I'm here. Okay, good. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Okay, good. Kevin Ramiro. Question teacher. Okay. Maria Elena. Mm, Maria Elena. Are you there? Mm, okay. Marilyn Alejandra. Marilyn, are you there? No, mm, okay, she's not there. Mario Ernesto. Present. Teacher, ya me um, llamó a mí. Se quedó trabado. ¿Quién se quedó trabado? <risa> Marilyn Alejandra, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Ah, ok, sí, le acabo de llamar. Sí, y yo así. veía que solo estaba trabado ahí y no lo miraba. Más nada. <risa> ok, ok. No <risa> problema. Mónica Marisela. Ok, just working. Oscar Armando. So it's not here. Patricia Guadalupe. All right, so I guess Patricia is getting there. Roberto Lulio. Present teacher. All right. Let me see. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, ok. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok, and we got the last one. Jocelyn Estefan. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Ok, good. So, basically, as I was saying, people, we are on the video conference number 13. So, welcome everybody. 
uh, remember two more video conferences and we basically finish the week number three right so a couple of day, days more and we are going to be finishing this module and that's pretty nice that's pretty nice okay so today um, or tonight in this case because it's night already um we are going to continue with the sequence that we have been discussing about since the past week. What does it mean? It means that we are going to be still discussing about the simple past forms, all right? So that's what we are going to be doing, all right? So good evening, Judith. Pensé que ya andaba en la iglesia todavía. Good evening. Good evening. No, dije todavía va. Va haciendo penitencia. ¿Y te tengo? No, no fui. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I have been watching a lot of videos in there about that procession. Okay, well, that's cool. That is cool. So let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, before starting with the main topic, by the way, that uh, as I said, this is part of the topic that we have been discussing in the past. I would like we to start up with a short feedback, people. Okay, by the way, this is the, the topic for tonight. Check that out. Simple past. Just no question, all right? That's the main topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. Ah, como les mencionaba anteriormente, pues vamos a seguir con la misma secuencia, okay? De el uso del pasado simple, solo que esta vez ya no es. No positive, no negative, and this is the question forms. But in this case is just no questions with this topic is it's going to be centered this class all right the way how we can ask and answer just no questions all right using the structure appropriately but as i said before starting up with this i would like uh you know like we to start with a short feedback or talking about what we remember about the previous classes, okay? I would like to start with that. And uh, now, guys, what do we remember from last class? What did you really remember from there, right? The class that we were doing on Thursday specifically and Friday that we started those topics in those in those days. So what do we remember? Can somebody tell me what do we remember from those classes? Any participation? Nice. Any participation? I'm doing it. Simple path. In the <laughs> Come on. Okay. First Ruth and then Judith. Let's go, girls. Simple pass. Simple pass. Okay. Okay. Simple pass and affirmative, right? A statement. That was on Thursday. Right? Okay, good. What else do, you, do we remember from that? That specific thing. What do we remember from that? When do we use the simple pass? Or what do we use the simple pass for? Para que necesitamos el pasado simple, people. Easy as that.
Any participation? Bueno, como no me quieren participar, entonces yo los voy a escoger. Let me see. The first one that appears on my, on my screen. Va a comenzar y dar prioridad a los que tienen la cámara apagada. So that way, all right. It, it's more comfortable for them to be with the camera off, right? Let me see. Uh, Jorge, what do we remember from, from, from that topic? What do we use the simple past for? No remember, teacher. You don't remember? Sinceramente, no, teacher. <laughs> Nothing, mister? Okay, all right. I guess you, you, you were remembering something, okay. All right, but that's okay. Catherine, what do you remember about the uses of simple past? Catherine, are you there? Okay, no Catherine there. Ah, we're gonna side up the night with Marilyn. Marilyn. What do we remember, Marilyn, from that? When do we use the simple past? Okay, you can use a simple past and in thing that you you that you did in the past, obviously. When you? Okay. So, cosas que ya hiciste en el pasado. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For things mm -hmm. or activities that we did in the past and stayed in the past. Okay. Exactly. Good. So those ones were on affirmative statements, right? All right. What about negative statement? That was the topic that we were discussing the next day. Uh, let me see, Mario. Yeah. Okay. What is what is the auxiliary verb that we did that we generally use to put something in negative using the simple past negative yeah mm -hmm. i don't remember i was still in a class as a year didn't ah you didn't you were not there okay thank you marilyn it's didn't okay that's the main topic or, or the main uh, word just to become a, a sentence negative. Remember people, remember in this case, if I got positive sentences, and I got on the other hand, negative sentences, this is completely different, all right? In what way? For example, if I got in here a subject, class, listen, Plus verb. This verb has to be in what? In past. Right? In past. And here you got complement. This is the structure for a positive statement. Remember. This is like the most common structure for a positive statement. What about for a negative statement? Right? You always will be in a subject. Right? Plus. Plus not plus main verb complement. Okay, and this is the structure to create negative statements. What does it mean? It means that if I say over here, look, if I say over here, I eat, all right, remember, eat is in is simple present. In this case is ate. I ate pupusas. Last night. 
I ate pupusas last night. So that is something positive, okay? Remember, something positive. What about if we say, or we put that normal sentence with, you know, negative one? Check that out. In here you will say, I did class not or didn't eat check that out last night what happened in this case what is the only difference ah miren si sí. ustedes pueden observar la única digamos el único cambio que ha sufrido la estructura es que acá le agregamos el did plus not o oh, in other words didn't ok didn't Y luego, si ya colocamos una palabra, right, read it, listen. si ya colocamos una, pasa, una palabra en pasado, in this case, el, el verbo auxiliar, ya no hay necesidad que el verbo principal esté en pasado. Ok. It is not really necessary for that. All right. You know, like, to be modified. It's not really necessary to be modified. Por eso, la palabra, el verbo en este caso, eat, acá, está en forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque ya llevo la forma negativa y la forma pasada de la estructura con solo el uso de este directo. Good. So, this is the way of what we were discussing or what we were working all right, yesterday, I mean yesterday, I mean Friday and Thursday, and I'm thinking on yesterday. <laughs> oh my God, that's the bad thing about working every day. But anyways, let's continue. Okay. Cook. Let's continue. I am going to delete this thing. Okay. What is the most remarkable things for tonight's class? All right. So we got the review from the previous class. Something that we just did. Algo que pues prácticamente acabamos de terminar, acabamos de hacer. Now, and then we're going to have the short introduction about the simple past. Yes, no questions. We're going to have extra examples. We're going to do a couple of exercises in the manual. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much what we are going to be doing. All right, so let's start over. Check this out. Let's start with the structure. Vamos a comenzar con la estructura de esta forma del pasado. Pues ya estuvimos viendo, recuerden, oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas. Ahora más que todo nos vamos a enfocar en cómo crear... Preguntas cortas o oh, yes, no questions, right? Okay. okay. Using this structure, check that out. Uh, for that one, Roberto, help me out reading the structure. Okay, teacher. Did plus subject plus base form of verb plus complement plus Question Plus. mark. Ah, question. <laughs> question mark. Okay. There question. you go. Check that out. Good. Siempre recuerden que en una just no question en pasado, siempre, siempre, siempre irá did. En la mayoría de veces. All right. 
Good. A menos que pues estemos, eh, digamos, tratando con el verbo to be u otro verbo modal. Okay. Check this out with the examples that we got here. Let me see. Ah, okay. Uh, Carla, help me reading this one, please. Teacher, I'm busy. Nah, okay. You got busy. <laughs> Ruth, help me out, Ruth. Okay, teacher, did you work yesterday? Okay, check this out. Did you work yesterday? It says, and this is a clear representation about what we got in here. Why is it a clear representation? Because if you see, I got did, which is the auxiliary verb. Then you got you, which is the subject. Work, it's the base form of the verb. And yesterday, it's basically a complement. And this is a way of answering these questions, right, in a very formal way. And low way, by the way. All right, check that out. We got it here. Yes, I did. I worked yesterday. Ah, si pueden observar, como después del I did, en la respuesta, ya no llevo el did otra vez. Por eso ya el verbo se modifica y se forma el verbo en pasado. All right? It says, yes, I did. I worked. All right? I worked yesterday. All right? That's what it says. Let's move. And this is the way how we all right, answer this type of questions with a negative. Right? Y aquí pues ya representamos la forma negativa. Si arriba decimos, yes, I did, I worked yesterday. Acá decimos, no, I didn't. I didn't work yesterday. All right. So this is the way. Good. Until here, people, did you have any question? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No questions? Okay, cool. I'm really glad there's no more questions over here. Let's continue. Good, we got a series of extra examples over here. So let's start just reading them. Judith, help me a reading. You, did you call a... Mechanic? <laughs> Did you call a mechanic? Yes, a mechanic. To check your car. Okay, cool. Thank you. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Right? That one is pretty simple, right? Question. So, let's provide an answer to that question. Christina, read the answer. Hello, teacher. Hi. Yes. Yes, I did. I call call it. I call. A called. A call. A mechanic or mechanic. 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 Mechanic to check my car. Okay, thank you. Yes, I did. It says I called a mechanic to check my car. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Now let's continue with this one. Uh, let me see who can help me out with this. Oscar, can you help me out? Are you available, Oscar? Creo que igual está trabajando. Okay, let me see. Jorge, help me a reading, Jorge. 
Did she pay extra money? Okay, thank you, thank you. Check this out. Did she pay extra money? And you got a, uh, uh, an answer in here. This type of answers are not extremely short. All right, and it says, no, she didn't. She didn't pay extra money. Okay, so. Let me see. All right. Mario, help me reading. Did we receive a report? Uh, receive. Receive. Did we yes. receive a report? Uh, okay, thank you, mister. All right, it says, did we receive a report? Recibimos un reporte? Okay, what's the possible answer for this type of questions? Check that out. Yes, we did, All right? This is a very short form to say it. And the negative one, remember, no, we didn't, okay? Entonces, estas son las formas en las que nosotros podemos, right? A dar respuestas a preguntas cortas aplicando simplemente check. Yes and no. All right. This is the way. Good people. Any question up to now? Hasta acá. ¿Alguna pregunta? Something that is not like good on you? Hmm. I can tell, so everything is okay. Ah, let's continue with more questions about this. Check this out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Marilyn. Help me reading, Marilyn. Okay, I guess she is not there. Maria Elena, are you there? You back? Oh, Jesus Christ, where is these people? No me hablo de mi verdad. Yes, I talked to you. Uh, eh, lo siento, es que le estoy aquí limpiando la jaulita a, a mi mascota. Eh, okay. Yeah, read the example, verdad? Yes, yes, read the examples. Okay. Did she buy a new cell phone? All right. It says, did she buy a new cell phone? Check this out. The next way, all right? The way how we answer to that question. This is a short, a very short answer to this question, guys, okay? No, she didn't. No, she Isn't didn't. it? Yeah, no, she didn't, mm. right? Good. Check this out. We got another one. Let me see. I'm just going to see who can help me out reading with this. Ah, we ran out of teachers and students. Gary, help me out reading, please. Present teacher. Hi. Can you help me at reading the last example? Puede leerme el último ejemplo, please? Uh, did she send a copy of the resume? Resume, okay, thank you. All right, this, this, did he, in this case, did he send a copy of his resume? Okay. Check this out, the answer. Yes, it says he did. Yes, he did. Okay, so we got another one in here. Give me one second. All right, Roberto. Well, well, did you cancel? What do you say? Cancel or cancel? All right, can cancel. That's okay. 
cancel. Did you cancel the pur ah, purchase? All right, there you go. Thank you, mister. Did you cancel the purchase? But it says, yes, I did. All right? Oh, no, I don't. That will be another way of answering this type of statements. Good. Let's continue. Algún voluntario para leerme esta otra, por favor? Yo, teacher. Okay, let's go. Did they buy or buy, teacher? Buy. Buy, buy. Did they, did they buy a new car? Okay, thank you, thank you. Did they buy a new car, it says? And the answer? Check this out. It says, no, they didn't. Right? That's what it says here. No, they didn't. Good. So I guess, people, this topic is not going to be that tough or that difficult for you because it's something all right, that you already managed in a somehow. Good. No more questions for this? No hay más preguntas para esto? No? Okay. Cool. Because I don't really want to find out if you are correct, people. All right. Could you give me a series of examples using the, this structure? ¿Podrían, por favor, elaborarme una pregunta? Ya sea en primera persona, en plural, whatever. All right. But I do really want listen up, you to give me an example question. All right. Using deal at the beginning. Let's continue. When you finish, let me know, please. Remember, if you have any questions, you can let me know. Did you guys finish? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, siempre usando el did. That's formulamos correct. la pregunta. Formulamos That's la pregunta. Correct. Ah, correct. Okay. Es que vengo llegando por eso. Ah, ok. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Eh, eh, yo tengo una. Ok, ready. Ok. Did she the exam final? Did she? The exam final. All right, you got did she do or did she did? Sí, el T, T H. All right, so just just to corroborate, tenemos, okay. ten, lo tenemos así. Did she do the final exam? No, sin el do. Oh, tenemos que poner el do porque es el ah, verbo okay. principal. El did, recordemos, solo es un auxiliar. 
Ah, ok. Bueno, como no lo escuché, me va a hacer en base a los lo examen. Ok. Ok, mister. Ok, thanks. All right. Good. Somebody else that got the, the uh, example? All right, Jocelyn. Okay, teacher. Did she drink coffee the, the last night? Did she drink coffee the last night? Okay. Good, good. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más que haya terminado. Mm. Yeah, Chris. Did she do ejercicio? Exercise. Exercise. Ok, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you, Cristina. Somebody else, alguien más? No. Did you go to the St. Michael Carnival? <laughs> ok. I will cry, but I will say no. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, you have to work. But let me see, man. I don't know when is the carnival. Judith, when is the carnival, Judith? Saturday? Uh, no, creo que es el 28. O no sé. <laughs> the 28. No, sé, tío. Ay, yo creí que ya tenía hasta, yo, yo pensé que ya tenía hasta agendada esa, esa fecha. <ríe> ok. Good, good. Perfect. ¿Son varias? ¿Alguien más? Eh, yo me tengo algo. ¿Ya? Tú seas mí. Ok. Good. One and one. Okay, did he pay the energy bill? Okay, very good. Or oh, the electricity bill? Okay. All right, cool. Is I student who else said me? You might see who you. Did he did he eat runs in the morning? Did he run in the morning? In the morning. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. If you say, did you run in the morning? So that means it is correct. Thank you, mister. Okay. Somebody else, alguien más? Yo, ya les vengo diciendo dos veces. Yo, yo, y no me hace caso. <laughs> no, es que no le escucho. A lo mejor dice yo cuando ya están participando. Mentira, mentira. Claro que sí, Mari, no deje de pelear. <laughs> pues... Let's go, Marilyn. Okay, did you cook the lunch for my family? Ah, okay. There you go. Nice, Marilyn. And stop fighting. Okay, good. Who else? ¿Quién más? What is that? Ruth. All right. Did she arrive early? Did she arrive early? Yes. Okay, good. No, she didn't. So, no. no. Okay. Never. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did I make a mistake? Did I make, make a mistake? Ah, okay. All right. Did I make a mistake? And I will say, yes, you did. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Mario. Somebody else. Mm, let me see. I'm just looking for people. Yeah, people. Let me see. Since he's not there, Oscar, are you home, Oscar? Okay, it's not there. Let me see. 
And the other ones are on the way home already. All right, let's continue. Baby. All right, listen up. Now, we're going to have a very, very, very short, you know, like dynamic on this thing. Because now we're going to focus on the manual. All right, so we're going to have a very short thing and presentations. Since it is just a short practice about yes, no questions. All right. So that's why we have ended up with this. All right. Good. Now. I'm gonna stop sharing here. And I do really want to show you something in which we are going to be focusing tonight. Give me one second. Let's go to the page 33 people, by the way. When I have a short reading. Entonces, den una pequeña lectura. Oh, let's go to this part. Ok. Good. Puesto que básicamente ya manejamos bastante, por así decirlo, el uso de las just no questions. And it is not really, really difficult, all right? For you guys, all right? I'm going to take in consideration these short articles that we got over here. In this case, we got Mrs. Mendoza, all right? So, which is basically, let me see, a co-worker. All right, or an employee in this case, and Mr. Torres. What are we going to do there? Listen, ¿qué vamos a hacer en este caso? Vamos a comenzar con algo sencillo. Vamos a leer la información que tenemos acá. All right, and with this information, with this information over here, so we're going to answer a couple of questions over here. It's just two questions, okay? Like it says, did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with her method of payment? And you will say if she did it, okay? So this is like what we're going to do. Exactly the same as number two. It says, did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Okay. And this one, it's taken, as I said, from here, okay? From here. So let's start over with that, people. Listen, we are not going to read this information in here right now, right? Because I do really want you to practice a spelling and you to practice pronunciation and fluency, all right? And you will get that part from here just by reading and practicing. Good. Por ahora. Solamente quiero que nos vayamos y leamos esta información. Y de esta información que vamos a leer, contestar estas dos preguntas. All right, over here. En este caso son de yes, no question. All right, in an a scenario, this will be like so easy. All right, uh, on, I mean, more easier, in this case, easier, right? But... Let's focus on this way. Remember, by reading this, you will answer this, okay? And then we're gonna come back in here just to check what you got and read the information, okay? And just read the information that you got there. So I would like to know whose people is going to be working because I see a lot of people now with the cameras off. Veo muchos con las cámaras apagadas, algunos van de camino a casa, otros están todavía en el trabajo, pero sí me gustaría saber quiénes son los que realmente están activos ahorita y pueden participar. All right. Just in case, right? Para no mandar a alguien a trabajar con, con alguien que pues eh, va de camino a casa y no puede usar, you know, like a device. 
good, aparte de Mario y Marilyn. Carla, she's working, I guess. María Elena. Mm. All right. Good. Gabriel and Jorge. Okay. So just give me one second. Sí, che, yo mantengo, la, estoy manteniendo la cámara apagada porque estoy usando el internet desde el teléfono, porque no me ha resuelto todavía el problema. Ah, el internet, ok. Para mantener un poco los datos. Pues, no sé, no. Ah, Eso, ok. Porque, estaba manteniendo la cámara apagada. Pues. All right. There you go. Cool. Uh, pensé que levantaba la mano, Jorge, porque decía que sí podía practicar. Okay, so I guess you won't participate. Give me one second. Let me see, I'm just checking this important information. Let me see. The second people, I just got this people over here. Okay, good. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work for a couple of minutes, okay? Vamos a dar un par de minutos ahí, luego volvemos. Let's go. Cristina, ¿le parece que pueda aceptar? Sí, perdón, Richard, ahorita. Ok, I guess there is, because you already done that. Casi no mando, puedo manejarlo mucho. Me cuesta. Ajá. Sí, no, la captura le tomé. Ah, ya. Yeah. Right. Dice, dice que hay que leer el teacher, hay que leer este, todo lo que dice Mr. Mendoza y Mr. Torres para poder responder las dos, las dos preguntas de la, para poder responder las dos preguntas. Teacher. De Yes. Creo que pone la, la, la captura. Se me olvidó oh. tomar la captura. Vaya, ahorita, ahorita. Uh, aquí me voy a sacar. Denme un segundo. Ya la subo. Ok. ¿Perdón? Aquí me voy a sacar. Uh, it's in here. Ahí está. Ahora sí. Ok. Gracias. Ok, gracias. Ah, ok, perfecto. Bueno, continuamos entonces. Voy a buscar el, el cargador de esta cosa que se va a descargar. Y me voy a seco. Ok. Ok. <coughs> Okay. Los dos serían, ¿verdad? Sí, los dos. Le damos primero aquí que... Ay, no. 
Sikir leo se uno yo voy a leer el otro. Bye. I have a problem with the viral system, but a technician can to help me with it. Me why it ever is solved it but he didn't he didn't say didn't. Uh -huh, say anything he haven't charged char for a a PS no a PS ever PS sí. he broke he gave or he get get he get me a copy of the of the report but in didn't understand understand it design all that he forgot to mention that he can very late. Okay. I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really keen. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car problem. Two, he got me details about the incident and he gave helped me. Yo tuve un problema con mi padre. Llamé por asistencia al mecánico. Ajá. He gave me the terms about the incident and gave me a report. Then I started and I knew everything was possible. No, pero ahí dice que llamó por asistencia, dice. Ahí dice el mecánico, dice. No dice que llamó a su mejor amigo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí sería, no, he didn't. Era con respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Los últimos ejercicios eran respuestas cortas. Esas son respuestas largas. Ahí solo dice re, responder. ¿Eran respuestas cortas o respuestas largas? Dicho. Son Tiene micrófono. el micrófono apagado. Short answers, that's okay. Ah, vaya. Yeah. Ok, entonces sí. Vaya, entonces pasemos a la otra parte. Solo esto, ¿verdad, teacher? Oh. Uh, yeah, right now it's just this part. Ah, solo es ese. Sí, por ahora. Vamos a agarrar la um, más. Yeah, no, like, calm down. Oh, ok. Yeah. Yo opino, okay. yo opino, yo, yo en mi humilde opinión. Ajá, opino. ajá. Deberíamos de practicar más la lectura con esos dos voladitos. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's, that was the idea. Va que sí. Uh -huh. Para saber pronunciar bien. That's correct. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Uh, payroll. Payroll. ¿Y se refiere a? Sistema de pago. Sistema de pago. Oh. Y la pregunta dice que si Mendoza tuvo problemas con el método de pago. Y el método de pago es el sistema, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ok, entonces sí, está bien. Yes. Y ahí es, ahí es dice, I had, a, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a te, ahí como es technician o como? Uh, yeah, a technician. technician. Ah, but a technician can to help you with it. He solved it. ¿Cómo es ahí? ¿Cómo es ahí? ¿Lo resolvió? No, pero. Ajá, no. He, he solved it. He solved it. Solved he it. solved it. Okay, so but but he didn't say anything. He even challenged me for a piece, vea? Mm -hmm. Piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides, uh, besides all that, I forgot to mention that it came very late. Nice, nice, nice. En esto es. Engine. 
Cars Engine. Cars Engine. Ajá, Engine, Engine es el motor del carro. Oh, uh -huh. eso le iba a preguntar qué era. Porque dice que tuvo problemas con el carro, el motor del carro. Oh. That's correct. Mire, usted no tiene los enlaces de, hay una, ay, no sé cómo es que se llama esta muchacha, pero que es, son videos en YouTube donde enseña todos los voiceless sounds. Pero yo como siempre me los mandaban en plataformas, no sé cómo buscarla porque como ya no tengo acceso a esas plataformas. Uh -huh. No sé si sí sirven un montón, pero es de un, creo que es, es este, ya el inglés, este, no sé, no sé cómo, ay, es que no sé, no sé si era inglés norteamericano, uh -huh. cómo, pero ella enseñaba los voiceless sound. Son videos de una mujer, pero no sé cómo es que se llama. Los voy a buscar. I'm gonna look for them. Probably I got I got the lucky and and and, and find them. Okay. Yes. All right. So you can continue practicing at least the reading because I'm gonna give a couple of more minutes and, and I'm gonna check other classmates. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. Teacher, hablando, no entendemos. Mentira. Hablando de Rey de Roma. Perdón, Mentira, ya estuvo. ¿Cómo que lo llamamos? <risa> What happened? Nada, ya estuvo. You're done already. Sí, ahorita me, permiso, me está. Ruk me está pasando una receta para hacer ponche para el 31. Ah, <risa> bueno, bueno. Pásela, pásela que yo también quisiera. Ponches. <laughs> pues, sí. Vamos a tomar chicha. ¿Qué más vamos a hacer solo eso, teacher? Only that for the moment. Uh -huh. We're going to go back and try to read that and then just check what you got, right? And, ah. and then we're going to continue with, with the second part, but not right now. Mm -hmm. Got a chill day today. That's pretty cool. Now you're not a sleepy Ruth. Vamos a dormir. Ya tengo sueño. Ah, come on, you're always <laughs> sleeping, man. Uh, what time do you wake up, Ruth? Uh, six to thirty a.m. And you go to bed? <laughs> Ele no, twelve. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Why so late? <laughs> work, teacher, work. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. So <laughs> you gotta... Ahorita que termina la clase, voy a hacer el menú de la semana. Porque todo el día no me tengo tiempo. Voy a hacer la lista de compras porque mañana es el día de ir a Walmart a hacer compras. Imagínense, aquí termi <ríe> terminamos a las diez y media. Y tengo que dejar todo, ¿a qué hora voy terminando? Tengo que hacer otras cosas antes de acostarme. Entonces me voy durmiendo de noche. Pero ya el otro miércoles ya terminamos a acostarnos. <ríe> Exacto. And I was happy, man, to say. Ay, yo también está así, así como que, ay, el, vier, el miércoles termino, da así, hasta el próximo. Oh, everything. Ah, And you ah, know what? And you know what? <laughs> In my case, I have to continue. Y en, mi caso, y en mi caso, yo voy a continuar hasta el 22 de diciembre. ¿Y por qué, Tito? Con otro grupo. <laughs> ¿Qué? Y yeah, es de otros grupitos ahí por ahí. Oh, yes, man. And I was like, oh my God, that's not possible. <laughs> but anyway. Ah, well, lo siento mucho por esto. Ah, but anyways, <laughs> work is work, you know. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Good. So. 
let's try to go people in that case let's go back i guess everybody has already finished and then we return in here right okay teacher see you later <clears throat> bye roberto <clears throat> Everybody's coming back again. Good people. Before before moving on with uh, the exercises and checking what you did already, I am going to pass the attendance list. Let's see, Gabriela Saúl. Gabriel. No, yeah, so where is okay? I guess he was there. Guadalupe Noemi. What? Quién sacaron ya? Nada, teacher, nada. <laughs> Ya nos regresó a la sala. Ah, yes, yes, I, I, I took them out. I took you my, uh, out from there. Okay, let's continue. Guadalupe Noemi, she is not here. It is Cecilia. Okay, so she's not there. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Moises. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, Judith Maribel. Present. Okay, good. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Ah, yeah, she's there. Carla Lorena. All right, so she's busy. Catherine Guadalupe. Mm, okay, Catherine College is not there. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Elena. Present. Ah, okay. Good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ah, okay. Mario Ernesto. Present. Perfect. Monica Maricela. All right. Let me see. So she is not there. Oscar Armando. Uh, here, teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Patricia Guadalupe. All right, so she is not there. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Santos. Present. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. The, the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. So I am going to project these ten people. Give me one second. What did I do with the manual? Hmm. All right, so we got this one in here. Okay, second, all right, we got it here. Okay, what are we going to do with these articles, people? 
This is about Mrs. Mendoza and this is about Mr. Torres. All right. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer un poco eh, el artículo de cada uno y luego vamos a dar nuestras opiniones. All right. Good. Let me see. Ruth, could you please help me at reading? Vamos a comenzar a leer, Ruth. I'm going to tell you where to stop, ¿ok? Le voy a mencionar ahí a dónde parar. Ok, teacher. I, I had a problem with the payroll, payroll system, but a technician came to help, help me with it. He resolved it about he didn't uh, say a minute. Anything. Anything. Okay, anything. good. But he didn't say anything. Thank you. Ruth, now, Judith, continue the reading. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. He even charged me for a he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came, came very late. Okay, he came very late. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Marilyn. Let's start the reading about the article where it says Mr. Torres. Okay. Okay, I had a problem with the course in the end, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. No sé hasta dónde quiere que llegue. Really kind. Stay really there. Kind. Okay, cool. Stay there, Mario. Okay. Uh, the, 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 he has, he, he, he was. Yeah, from here. He was there really, really fast, and he was quick to fix my car problems too. Okay. Okay. No, stay there. Stay there. I'm gonna look for someone else to help me out. Hmm. Jesus Christ! Let me see. Gabriel. The and he okay, yeah. he gave me the tile about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Oh, uh, then for me, see, uh huh, okay, oh, where am I? Arriba from here, Mister, from here, from here, ah, okay, okay. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car problem too. He gave me the tie about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Ah, okay, then, very good. Uh -huh. He gave me a report of it. Okay. Uh, let's finish it, let's finish it. Ah, okay. I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, good. The first article, people, about Mrs. Mendoza. What it talks about. ¿De qué habla el artículo sobre la señora Mendoza? Mm -hmm. De un problema de pago de economía. With uh, problems with the payroll. That's what she was presenting. And what did she do? ¿Y qué hizo ella? Pide ayuda. Este, pidió asistencia técnica. Ah, ok. Good. Uh -huh. She asked for... Uh, right. El problema que tuvo... El problema que tuvo es de que eh, 
que al parecer el técnico le cobró por una pieza rota ¿ya? y le dio un informe técnico. Y ya siendo usuario, no iba a entender un informe técnico. Ah, ok. All right. It makes sense. There you go. Good. And it says, in addition to that, and it says, and I forgot to mention that he was very late, right? He came home very late. Okay. Good interpretation about this. But what about Mr. Torres? All right. So he had a problem with the what car. with the car engine, right? Con el motor de su carro, básicamente. Ah, but in here it was completely the opposite, all right? So, pero aquí era completamente, you know, like opposite, all right? Completely opposite. But how do you understand? ¿Qué más podemos sacar de esa conversación de Mr. Torres? Ah, people. I would like to have... Dice que, le dice que, dice que fue muy amable con él. Uh -huh. Estuvo ahí rápido. That's correct. Le solucionó el programa rápido. Uh -huh. eh, Y le dio detalles sobre lo que ha pasado y le dio un informe. Ok, very good, very good. But in this case, everything was working perfectly, right? Ok, very good. Thank you, Mario, for your participation. Now, let's go down, people. And now, let's try to focus on the questions that appear here. All right, let me see who can help me out. Cristina, help me out reading, Cristina, the question That's number the one. Um, en la two, uh, number one, number one, read number only one. the question. Number one, okay. Uh, la respuesta, teacher. If you have an answer, give it to me. Mm -hmm. Did Mr. Mendoza uh, a problem with a method of payment. Okay. Uh, Did... uh -huh. okay. All right. Yeah, what it says, right? Did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment? Yes. What is the answer? Okay. The Steve Technician did not solve the problem. No le ayudó. No le resolvió. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. There you go. So you got in that case? No, she didn't. That's what you got. Did somebody got something else? Alguien que tenga uh, algo diferente? Mm, no How do you have it? ¿Cómo la tienen acá? ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo entendimos la pregunta? Bueno, yo entendí que en la pregunta dice que si la señora Mendoza tuvo un gran problema con su método de pago. O sea, eh, yo en honor a eso, en que como lo entendí, yo le puse que sí, que she did. Yes, she, she did. She has a problem with the method of payment. Esa fue mi respuesta. Porque yo entendí que tenía un problema de pago. No sé si me equivoqué. Uh -huh. Igual apoyo a Mario. <laughs> ok. There you go. Solo que aquí ya no sería has, sino had. Yo okay. tengo una duda. Yo dije have. Uh -huh. ah. Tell me. Espera, quiero ver cómo lo escribí. Es que no sé cuándo hay que complementar la oración así como lo estás haciendo en este momento o cuando dejarla corta. Por ejemplo, no, en sí. ese caso lo puede dejar corta y no hay ningún problema. Yo lo pongo acá para dar una información adicional, pero ambas respuestas son correctas, ¿ok? Both ways. Ah, Porque nosotros solo lo dejamos, she, yes, she did. Ya, yeah, mientras correct, no problem. Este es solo para dar una... una digamos, algo más adicional o para reafirmar lo que estamos mencionando. That's it. Okay. 
Good. Eh, en, y acá tengo have porque estamos hablando del pasado simple. Y como, listen up, básicamente a partir de. A partir de acá, esto es una oración completa a la primera. ¿Ves? Entonces acá, como es una acción en pasado, acá ya no es have, sino have. El que tiene que ir. This is the way. All right, Mario. Ahí por eso es que llevamos have, porque la acción está en pasado. Obviously, if it is in simple present, entonces ahí sí sería has. Ah, ok. Yes, Re recuerde, recordemos que pues básicamente en pasado simple, tanto primera como tercera persona, right, we don't pluralize or we don't suffer any modification with, you know, like with the structure and everything. Good. Now, what about oh. number two? All right. What about number two? Hmm. ¿Algún voluntario que me ayude a leer la pregunta? Yo, teacher. Ah, okay. Let's go. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Ah, okay. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? What's the answer no. that you got? Huh? Uh, don't worry. No, he didn't. All right, you yes. see. Like this? Yes. No, okay. No, he didn't. And actually, it is correct. Did Mr. Torres call Eric his best friend for help? All right. No, he didn't. This is the way. Okay. This is pretty cool the way how we have been discussing these things. Now, let's try to go down now, people. Ahora sí, vamos a pasar a lo siguiente. Let me see. Okay, yeah, you got this one. Check this out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to read a couple of them. For example, Jorge, are you there? Uh, yes, no question. Yeah, could you please help me at reading the question, the first one? Did you call a mechanic to share your car? All right, there you go. Did you did listen? Up. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Okay, you got two models of answer to this question, right? Yes, I did. No, I listen up. No, I didn't. That is the answer to that question. What about the second one? Mm. Judith? Um, no, le escuché muy bien. Ah. No, 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 no. In that case, uh, help me reading the second question. Question number two. Okay. Did she pay extra money? Ah, okay. There you go. Did she pay an extra money, it says? You know what is extra money, right? Cargo adicional. That's an extra money. And it says, yes, she did or no, she didn't. Good. What about the next one, Roberto? Did we receive a report? Ah, okay. Did you guys receive a report? A report. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. And we got another one. Check that out. It says, did they sign the letter? All right. And if you see the variations in the short answers, it's basically 
the same. In the second answer, yes, she did, no, she didn't. And the third one, yes, we did, no, we didn't. And in the last one here, it says, yes, they did or no, they didn't, right? This is part of it. Remember, acá esta estructura sí es un tanto, digamos, sencilla, más que todo para ustedes, el poderlas trabajar y el poderlas, pues, contestar, ya que por muy compleja que sea una pregunta, si sí, llevamos div al principio, esa, listen up, esa respuesta va a ser corta. There you go. Good. Any question before moving on? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de venernos? No. Nope. Ok. Good. Let's move. All right, so we got here. Good. What are we going to do here, people? Listen up. ¿Qué vamos a ir a hacer acá en este caso? Dice, create yes, no questions, based on the answer provided. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Listen, en sus respuestas. Listen. En sus respuestas. Básicamente ustedes tienen el verbo con la cual ustedes van a listen up, crear la pregunta. Acá la respuesta ya está hecha. Ok. The only thing that you got to do is just to pay attention and try to answer in a correct way. For example, it says in here, check this out. Yes, I did. I sent the email. Listen up. Yes, I did. All right. And it says, I sent the email. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta entonces? We just sent the email. The email. Let me see. Did I, I sent? Did I send the email? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Did I send it? The, says the you mail. like this? Like this? Mm, are you okay with this? ¿Qué piensan los demás? You ah, the I is you. Ah, very good. Ah, Ahí ah. es una pequeña observación. Acá en vez de I, vamos a poner uh -huh. you, porque es una pregunta directamente a alguien para que responda. Yes, I did. I uh -huh. sent the email. There you go. Y ahí tenemos ya la pregunta. Entonces, básicamente, ustedes me van a terminar las demás. All right. Good, pay attention to the verb. Good, entonces me van a prestar atención más que todo al verbo que se utiliza en la respuesta. Nice. I'm going to send you to work in the pairs. Muy bien, ahora sí. Nos vamos a ir entonces a trabajar con parte de lo que tenemos. Ok, y luego vamos a volver acá. Just to check what you got, ok. Good people, let's continue. And let's go to work. Let's go, people, to fill out those 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 activities. Let's join the breakout rooms. La segunda. Vale, sí. And they didn't, yeah. Didn't they didn't check with the text? They checked the package. 
No, they didn't. They didn't check the pitch. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, está bien. Claro. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ahí quiero ver, sería... Did it? Sí, sería. Yo creo que sí sería. Sí. Sí, ah, sí. Three, sería, yes, it is. Sí, sería, ¿verdad? Did they check sí. the pass? Sí, así La otra es, este... Did the cars. Did you... Tour again. Uh -huh. Yeah, ajá, está bien. Y el, el verbo. Diga. El verbo en la dos. Aquí sí ya me quedé como que. What the hell? No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the race. Did we? Never. Oh. Así. Uh -huh. Did we never receive uh, a copy of the receipt? Uh -huh. Yo tengo duda en la tercera, Tich. Yo en la cuarta. <risa> a la puchica por, por el por el verbo tucho. ah va miren en la tercera tienen el verbo principal en pasado recuerden que ese verbo va en presente no importa qué Y en la cuarta, ¿por qué? Por, por el verbo también. Let me see. Did we never receive a copy? No, no es necesario el never. Y recibe en, en forma base. <risa> Ay, ayúdeme, Ru, que ya me perdí. <risa> Pero... <risa> no, Rubén. Ya lo dejó chiflando en la loma. Ya que estoy tratando de traducir, Tiche. <risa> del, del. Ah, pero yo creo que no lleva la D. Ah, ajá, la D no lleva. Hay Queen, recién. Recibió. Vaya, ve, ve que estoy trabajando. Y pues está haciendo eso, me está haciendo el mío, fíjense. Al te va adelantado todo. Vaya, ve, ve. Yes, he did. Este sería. ¿Qué es esto? No, pero aquí lo vamos a cambiar. Eh, ¿Qué bow? ¿Qué bow? Es comprar. Es comprar, comprar sí. Como cambio. Es compró. Uh -huh. Comprar. 
Oye. Sí, esa, esa va escrita normal. Bye. Sí, did he buy? Sí, vio. Ajá. Hello, Jose. Jose, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Uh, para Jose. Jose, ¿está ahí? Sí. All right, Jose. ¿Y ¿Por qué no me ha hecho el examen de medio curso? Sí, no se lo he hecho. Uh -huh. Yes. En Neces esto estoy. Necesito su nota, dice. Yes. Y de los otros exámenes. Uh -huh. En eso estoy, teacher. Ok, perfecto, Mr. Perfect. Ahora se los tengo. Genial. Uh -huh. All right. You already finished? Eh, pues sí. Sí. Ya las, uh -huh. ya las tenemos, ¿eh? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm, sí. Eh, ¿Verdad que cuando, que cuando se usa el auxiliar, el, el verbo que le sigue al sujeto es en presente, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, pues entonces aquí están ya. No sé. Ah, ok, perfecto. Revisen el número 5. La número 5. That's correct. Del he buy a new. Correcto. Ajá, y nosotros le, le recalcamos el boat. Va. Exactly. No puede ir, no puede ir el boat. Right. Ajá. Pasado. Ah, bye. Y ya bye. la acción Ajá. la está haciendo él. ¿eh? Ajá. Vaya, entonces. correcto. ¿Así? ¿Cómo? Yeah. ¿Así? Sí, sí. No, bye. Bye, bye. B, U, Y. Yeah. Ah, sí, va, porque está en pasado, vea. Ajá. Pasado, sí, sí. Ajá. Se vuelve, ajá, ya. Ajá, aquí Ampai. vuelve a presente otra vez. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok, there you go. So, I'm just going to sí. check one more group, all right? And then we're going to go back because I guess, let me see, did you, did, uh, did they, yeah, I mean, you're going, you, you did it good. You did it good. Perfect, okay. people. I'm just going to check one more group that is missing. En el teacher, pero ya nos para el otro lado. What happened? You finish? Ya nos yeah. vamos para la casa. Ah, ah no, para yeah. la cama. Ya vamos para la casa. Para la casa. La casa ya está usted. <risa> pero me equivoqué para la cama. ¿Para <risa> cuál? <risa> Ay, Ruth. Yo no ni me know what to speak, Ruth. <risa> <laughs> All right, there you go. Let's jump over, people. I see you there, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, so let's check people what you have over there. Okay, I did number one already and it was about, it says, Yes, I did. I sent the email. It's because when I used to uh, let me see. Send emails, I used to do it from myself. But anyways, check this out. Yes, I did. I sent the email. And the question is, did you send the email?
Let me see. Where is it? Ah. Did you send the email? And we got, yes, I did. I sent the email. Good. Now, let's jump into the other ones to, to see what you got. You did. Read number two. Okay. Did they check the packages? All right, did they send, I don't know, let's check the package in this case, like this. Everybody got it like that? Todo lo tenemos así? Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh, somebody else that can help me out with this. Okay, over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, but it's super working. I don't know. Where is everybody? Jorge, no, Jorge didn't participate. Let me see. Ruth. Yeah, Ruth. Help me out, Ruth. Don't be sleeping. <laughs> okay, uh, did, did the car turn on again? Did the car? Uh huh. So, Home again. No, sin las de. Ajá. Not like that? Mm. What is missing in that case? Or what do I need to remove? Help me. I don't know. Ay, si te quita la B y la E. Like this? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, there you go. Did the car turn on again? It says, yes, it did. All right, the car turned on again. Okay, very nice. Now let's move out. Let's see who else can help me out with that. Jesus Christ, almost everybody did not participate that much. Oh, luckily I got people in here like Gabriel. Yes, teacher. All right, read number four. Okay. Ahorita. Did we receive, receive a copy of the uh, receive a copy of the receipt? Like this? Yes, teacher. All right, did we receive a copy of the receipt? Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what we got over here, all right? Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Perfect. And now let's do the last one. Mm, Roberto. I le voy teacher. <clears throat> did he buy a new tire? Okay, like this. Give me a second. Did he buy a new tire? 
Le dije eso. Ya veía, le pasó el sueño Ru. Exactly. Yeah. No, man, I was, I was, <laughs> I was putting that. Estoy cantando just para to que me see quiten. what you got, people. You are not paying attention right in here. <laughs> y yo pongo helmet y todo así como que. <laughs> Giving a race. Okay. No, basically that's that's what we got. Listen, in that case, what are we doing? We are just reaffirming what in the question are asking. Recuerden que con básicamente preguntas enfocadas a yes, no, all right, using this structure. Remember, using this structure, you always will use did ok siempre recuerden que van a usar did alright in this case good people any question with this alguna pregunta con esto something that probably you got troubles with no questions people Not to sure. Mm, okay. There you go. I think we are not going to have time to do this one. I would like to have done that one, but we are not going to have that much time. It's just like 10 minutes, 13 minutes before we go, and that's too, too, too few time. It's a lot. It's not, it's not a lot of time. In this activity, we were about to create a conversation asking a customer about the Last service he or she got. All right, in that case, in the company. But in this case, people, we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Okay, I am going to stop sharing this. And we're gonna make up a sum up from what we have been discussing. Okay. Good. Uh, people, before moving on with that, ¿alguno todavía presenta problemas en la plataforma con alguna actividad? Are you up to date with that? For example, Ruth, until what uh, homework have you been working on? I'm going to go asking one by one. Until what homework do you have the platform worked? Ruth? No tengo problemas, teacher. Why? Todo bien, teacher. Todo bien para mí. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let me see. Cristina, is everything okay with the platform, with the homework and everything? Yes, teacher. Ah, all right. There you go. Uh, Judith, have you have you ever? Uh, I mean, ya no vuelto a presentar inconvenientes en cuanto a la plataforma. No, teacher. Mm. And I'm asking this because, uh, yeah, it's it's. Let me see. It's a couple of mistakes. There's a couple of mistakes in there. Todavía hay un par de. Cositas que se deben de corregir in there in the platform. Good. Uh, in homework 9, en la tarea 9, Ceci. What happened in homework 9, Ceci? ¿Qué pasa en la tarea 9, Ceci? <laughs> Yo. Ah. Yo no me quiero dar duda en serio con esta pregunta. <laughs> Ceci, no le creo que desde que me estuvo preguntando todavía y no, nada Sí, es que estaba en el trabajo pero de ahí me vine y ya no terminé Pero no ha pasado de ahí you have, you have a... mm, Solo tres me faltan de la tarea nueve, tres preguntas que no me salen y ya las cambié From todo. homework nine. nine Yes Ok, I'm gonna check that one I'm just going to check that one. Wow. 
what happened with this homework? Okay, from here. Which one is uh, the one that is showing you problems, Ceci? Ceci, are you there? Hello. Hello. Ah, which one is the one that you got problems in? Which number? Uh, ¿Cuál de todas es? <laughs> es la número, bueno, la, la tres. Mm -hmm. eh, la he dejado como... This one? Because if it is number three, let me see. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hmm. Vamos a ver. Acá, acá tiene un indicio. Dice que inicia con wood, pero vamos a ver si es cierto. All right, it says, would he like, listen up, let me see, would he like to buy this up there? What's that? Will he like to buy there? Okay, it is incorrect, it says. What about with the question form? Is it still incorrect? Mm -hmm. okay. so it means it's like that. Good, that was an option. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo la tengo, pero no es esta. Sino que empieza con sí. Uh -huh. Okay, as I said, you got to um, look for, all right, options. Porque si sí, hay algunas que a veces ni creyendo que la tiene bien, sale bien. Okay, now, he would like to buy there again. Now, let's go and check. And this is still incorrect. Okay, good. So it means this is not correct over here. Yeah, even putting the point, I guess it's not like that. Ah, give me one second. I got it wrong in here. It's like this. One hmm. question. Man, actually, you see, I got it correct. Sin necesidad de poner el punto. You see, Ceci, that's what I was saying. You need to look for different options just to get us one. Ceci? All right, so I guess it's just not there. Okay, and this is the way how you got it, right? And that happens with the other ones too. Y pues así sucesivamente, igual son las demás, right? Listen, people, como les mencionaba, necesito para algunos que todavía no me han entregado algunas tareas, necesito de verdad, de verdad que me las terminen. Recuerden que hay algunos inclusive que llevamos problemas con minutos. Right? No es por ser, pues, 
digamos, mala onda, pero mmm, digamos que esta es como de las primeras ocasiones en las que me suceden este tipo de cosas con un grupo, en el que vamos bien bajos de puntos y más que todo en, en, en tareas. Look, and this is not for you to feel bad, all right, because that's not a, the intention. Pero así es como van más o menos las, la situación con ustedes. Check this out. I started from here. Look, there are some people, all right, that they got good records, like in this case, this person. Mm -hmm. And then we got it like this, all right. And then over here. Check this out. Okay, and here you can evaluate how you are. Check this out. For example, we got uh him. Kevin, are you there, Kevin? Teacher, yo no aparezco ahí. Kevin? Ah, no, no. no Usted, uh, usted aparece en otra lista. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, the, the, these people. All right, they got messages. Without, you know, like, doing the homework. Okay, now let's move out of here. And we got this one. You see? Now you appear here, Cristina. Ok. Okay. All right. Now, well, with you, I don't have any problem because you, in the three evaluations forms, you got 10, right? But for the people who are not, you know, like into it, yeah, I mean, you got it here. Perfect. So that was my reminding for you guys because we are basically finishing with number three. And yeah, I mean, there are still some grades from uh, from week one that we need to finish. Good. Any question about the structure that we have been practicing, people? ¿Alguna pregunta con la estructura que hemos estado practicando esta noche? The use of just no question? No? Okay, good. So... I guess your silence is telling me that everything is okay and you don't have any problem. Good, so I'm gonna stop sharing this thing. All right, now I'm gonna stop sharing in here and I'm gonna pass the attendance list, people. Give me one second. Okay, Gabriel Esau. Present. Ah, okay, good. Guadalupe Noemi. I didn't see Guadalupe. It is Cecilia. Present. All right. Jorge Ismael. Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Mm, Jose Moises. Present. Ah, okay, good. Judith Maribel. Present. Nice. Carla Ivania. Okay, so it's just not here. Let me see. Carla Lorena. Catherine Present. Guadalupe. Okay, thank you. Catherine Guadalupe. All right, so it's not there. Kevin Ramiro. All right, Maria Elena. Hmm. Let me see. I'm not here. All right, let's continue then. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Good. Uh, respondiendo a su pregunta, José, no. 
vamos por la, ahora vamos a iniciar la tarea 13. Ok. Good. Let's continue. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok. Good. Are you see, Mario? I am pleasing you now. Esta es por, por primera vez, creo que en todo, 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 desde que va módulo 1, módulo 2, los que estuvieron conmigo, módulo 3 y 4, es la primera vez que se van a ir exactamente a la hora. It's right up 10, 10.01. 10 con 1. Por primera vez en todos estos cuatro módulos. Ey, no sean así. Está celebrando hasta la Carla. Es, qué valor ustedes. Mira, ya ven, ya ven. Ya, ya voy aprendiendo a manejar los tiempos. You know, like measuring the times. Y no algunas ocasiones que nos hemos quedado hasta las 10.30. Funny. Ya se pasó dos minutos. ¿Ah? Ya se pasó dos minutos. No sé así, Ruth. Déjeme terminar, Ruth. Ok, so we have Mónica Maricela over here, but she's working. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. All right, good. But before going up, uh, in there, people, give me one second. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jesus, and, and the problem is in here that I got a lot of people that they got, uh, da, 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 let me see. Jose Valle, are you there? Jose? Okay, Jose. No, listen, Jose. With you, I haven't had the 10 minutes feedback. Con usted no ha tenido los 10 minutos de retroalimentación. Entonces, me gustaría que nos quedáramos después de, de, de pasar asistencia, ¿ok? ¿Cómo no? Sí, ¿Ah? sí, sí, creo que sí. ¿Cuándo lo subimos? La vez, quiero ver, hace como dos semanas. Like two weeks ago. Pero, o sea, pero no importa, si quieres. Ah, permítame, es que, es que sí, como hay muchos que no me han pasado y... Se ha adelantado con momento. varios. Ajá, Ajá, porque el último fui yo. Exacto, y el detalle está en que como muchos no me... Me dice, no, teacher, ahorita estamos tra estoy trabajando. No, teacher, que no estoy acá, que no. Entonces, me he tenido que ir saltando así o no se conecta. Por ejemplo, these people, hay muchos que los he, les, he, les he pasado asistencia y no me contestan. Debo suponer que todavía están trabajando. That's the problem. So, yeah, but, uh, but anyways, but I, I thought it was with you. Uh, uh, I, I did it, Jose, but give me one second. I'm going to choose another person. So if I did it with that, I'm going to ask it, Oscar, what about with you? Mande, dígame. Con usted no hemos tenido la retroalimentación, ¿cierto? Cierto, sí, no. Okay, cool. So we're going to stay today, okay? Sí, bueno, está bien. All right, perfect, perfect, Oscar. Now, Patricia Guadalupe. All right, she's not there. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Nice. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nice. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Good night teacher. Oh, good night. And we got the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. All right. There you go. Cool. Muy bien. Entonces, me voy a quedar esta, esta vez con Oscar. Así que, nos vemos mañana, people. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, Por fin good se van night. temprano. Bye bye. <laughs> good night. Bye bye, people. Good night. Good night. Bueno, estamos. All right, people. Give me one second. I'm gonna. Chévere. I'm gonna remove these people over here because I guess they are working and they cannot. There you go. Cool. Muy bien. Entonces nos quedamos acá con estos 10 minutos. Recuerde que esto es prácticamente para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a la clase que hemos visto y pues clases anteriores. So, I don't know if you uh -huh. have questions, Oscar. <risa> en todas las clases, teacher. <risa> <risa> en every class. 
Cabal, está... All right, like, try to start, man. Try to start. No, tengo que repasar, ¿verdad? Porque eh, como yo me conecto posterior casi a, al inicio del material, ¿va? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, eh, comprendo que la mayoría empieza con las, las reglas gramaticales. Es correcto, correcto. O sea, que sí, eso. Ajá. Pero de ahí, cuando ya es de hacer ejercicio, ahí sí, más o menos, caigo, ¿va? Sí, ya va. Ajá, cabal, como aterri aterrizando, como decimos. Aterrizando, exacto, sí. Entonces, eso de, va a ser mi meta de aquí en adelante, digamos, de leer los manuales del 1, 2, 3 y 4. Mm -hmm. Entiendo que se repiten las reglas, ¿verdad? Solo que en algunos... Sí, en algunas situaciones eh, sí. Ajá, como básicamente en algunos temas eh, vienen siendo casi lo mismo, solo que, digamos, que a comparación de módulos anteriores se ven como con más grado más avanzado. De, de, de avanzar exacto más, exacto, más sí. avanzado right. uh -huh. so that's why ah, pues en eso quiero digamos seguir ya por mi cuenta quizás en estudiar más o repasar ¿verdad? en las ah. reglas ajá vamos bien vamos bien y con el uso del, 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 de estas just no questions en pasado cómo estamos ah fíjese que también esa es otra onda que Sí, Ahí porque... sí tengo, digamos, cuando se van como estructurando, formando, ¿va? Ajá, sí, porque vaya, tenemos, eh, digamos, eh, al menos en el pasado, tenemos esa que hemos estado practicando ahorita, que es, digamos, un tanto, el día, ¿no? digamos, que es un tanto eh, simple. ¿En qué aspecto? Uh -huh. En el aspecto de que para formar una pregunta de estas, siempre vamos a iniciar con did. Ajá. Después del did, por lo general lo que hacemos es colocar un subject, right? que puede ser un sujeto right? Ex ex right? externo o yourself o whatever. Right? Ok, ahora bien, acá, después del subject, ¿qué necesitamos? Un verbo. Un verbo. Este verbo Ajá. se le conoce como main verb o verbo principal. Este y ah, verbo okay. ya va a ir en simple present. Simple present. ¿Por qué? Mm. Básicamente porque este verbo en, 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 en forma simple, all right, está actuando de forma simple y no en pasado porque acá, in here, ya estamos haciendo la acción del pasado. Ajá, Por eso es que ya el verbo principal dice, bueno, ya están ayudándome con la forma del pasado, así que me voy a quedar en forma base, o sea, en presente. Entonces, por eso acá ya no cambia a pasado. All right. So, in here. Digamos. Ajá. Ajá. Dígame. Si fuese, digamos, el verbo de trabajar, va que work. Ah, vaya. Muy bien. Ahí tenemos la, la estructura. Vaya. Pongamos ese verbo en contexto. Uh -huh. Si yo le pregunto, Oscar, did you work? Listen up. Did you work last week? Last week? No hace con la vez. All right. Did you work last week? Y ya tenemos la pregunta. ¿Trabajaste la semana pasada? You see. Entonces acá, igual, yo tengo la estructura del did. Tengo el you que responda lo del subject. Uh -huh. Work, en ese caso, es el verbo. All right. So, in here, listen. Acá, básicamente, tenemos dos modelos de respuesta a esa pregunta, que suelen ser un tanto sencillo. Si la pregunta, all right, eh, ya terminó y queremos dar una respuesta positiva, entonces acá solamente decimos, yes, yes she. Coma, I do. I, ah, ok, yes, I do, ajá. Uh -huh. All right, pero en este caso, vaya, bien, bien. quiero que preste atención, porque yo acá cometí un pequeño errorcito y este me siguió. <ríe> Acá no es do, es did. Así. 
¿Por qué? Porque Pero es pasado. espacio. Ajá. Porque es pasado, porque es pasado. Right? Yes, I did. Y si fuera negativa, mire, ¿ya sería? No. no. I. I did it. Did it. Ah. Uh -huh. Exactly. This. No, I did it. All right. Good. Y entonces está en la sí, forma. Eso de, el yes, I do. Es cuando es el verbo tu viva que para responder. No, es la forma pasada no. del día. Es, es cuando preguntamos, pero en presente simple. Presente simple, ajá. Exacto. Yes. Si usted me pregunta, do, por ejemplo, vaya, le voy a hacer el presente acá. Como uh -huh. que yo le diga, do you work? ¿Trabajas? Do you work? Y usted me diga, yes, yes. I do. O no, vea. All right, exactly. Sí, sí trabajo. Ah. Yes, I do. All right, and yes, I do, si es, es presente. Sí, ajá, presente y positiva y negativa acá. Exacto, exacto. This is part of essential things that we got to remember. Ajá, sí, eso sí. All right, good. So this is, this is what we got in here. Entonces acá lo, con lo que tenemos que estar siempre al cuidado es de manejar son los verbos más que todo. All right. Ah, ese buen, buen punto. Mire, usted tiene una lista de verbos, así digamos que los use en pedagogía. Porque si sí tenía una lista como de 500 verbos y no sé qué se me uh -huh. hizo en PDF. ¿Usted <ríe> está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, claro. Vaya, permítame. Ahorita mismo, antes de que se me olvide, voy a reenviar algo que había enviado la vez pasada. Ah, ok. Permítame un segundo. Voy a ver si acá todavía está, ¿ok? Ok. There is chat there. Porque ese es otro punto, va, que para formar oraciones es bueno tener una riqueza verbs de verbos. Verbs really necessary. Exacto. Ajá. Los verbos sí son... Uf, pieza Super. fundamental. Así es. Hey teacher, solo quiero sí, llamar. Ajá. Usted recuerdo que la vez pasada dijo que del oh, sí. inglés módulo básico en principiante son seis módulos. That's correct. Ah, sí. chispa, yo pensé que cuatro eran. No, son seis. seis. Eh, ah, aquí ajá. terminando este faltarían dos más. Ajá, exacto. Ah, chivísimo. Yes. Porque si sí, hay muchas cosas que... Eh, hey, ya pasé cuatro módulos y todavía... Tengo que aprender más digo, de lo básico. Es correcto. <risa> Ajá, sí. Y me voy a hacer What did I do in this document? No, entonces... Yeah, and I want to send it right now. Y lo quiero enviar ya porque luego si no lo encuentro a veces se me va por alto y se... And I won't find it. Ajá. Give me one second. Está bien. Ah, perfecto. Ahí está. Ahí está, mister. Acabo de enviar al grupo un listado de verbos que son más que todos los verbos con los que podemos tener mayor dificultad al momento ah, sí. de, 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 al momento de, eh, digamos, escribirlos en pasado también, porque son ah, los verbos los irregulares, tiempos. es correcto. Ahí inclusive, ahí inclusive los que van en letra roja son la pronunciación. Ah, sí, ya lo estoy. Ahí notando. inclusive está la pronunciación. Uh -huh. está. Ah, pues sí, hombre, que aquí hay bastante, ¿verdad? Uh, sí, ahí hay una infinidad de verbos. Sí. <ríe> yeah. Ah, pues sí, algo así necesitaba, porque fíjese que lo buscaba así en internet, pero a veces lo más 80 verbos. <ríe> sí, sí, sí. No, y ese está un, tan, 
Y ese es un tanto está completo, completo porque hasta la, la traducción trae la, y la pronunciación. La pronunciación. Ah, eso también le iba a decir. Das correcto. Y a veces, uh -huh. digamos, leo una, una palabra casi como se eleva, pero uh -huh. tiene otra, la pronunciación. Pues sí. sí, correcto. Entonces, sí, pues espero que le sirva de mucho. Sí, hombre, gracias, teacher. Sí, pues sí, ahí estamos. Y entonces nada más, pues nos quedaría más que todo la práctica. Ahí. Sí, la práctica. Es clave, que... va. <ríe> claro, es. claro que sí. Claro Así que es. sí, mister. Muchas vale, gracias. Pues. Bueno, pues entonces, sí. mister, ahí estamos. Y nos vemos mañana, Perfecto. ¿ok? Right. Ok. Buenas okay, noches. Mister. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night.